What is going on, Chelsea fans? Thank you for heading over to our YouTube channel. Hey, this is a clip from the entire podcast we did. Uh, it's only a segment. The The full pod is like an hour long, so it doesn't make sense to be on YouTube, but it's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you listen to podcasts, link in the description. Go check it out. Again, link in the description, but we hope you enjoy this clip. Until next time, Chelsea fans, you know what to do? Keep the blue flag flying high. When it comes to outgoings, though, and looking at how Chelsea are going to potentially make those funds available for someone like Declan Rice, there are definitely a lot of players that maybe just don't fit in what Frank Lampard and the club are trying to do at the moment. You know, I think the first one would be, you know, if we kind of just go down a rundown, you know, Jorginho has been kind of a man that really doesn't have a place in this starting 11, at least today. You know, are there places maybe like Atletico Madrid who have now just you know made some money hopefully here with uh, Morata going to Juventus that might be a great <laughs> home for him? Are there other clubs maybe trying to assess Jorginho as a, a potential incoming before the window closes? I think it won't be easy to sell Jorginho in this summer. You know, in the last two weeks because um, Chelsea say okay if you have to, if you have to to sell Jorginho we need to have like 50 million euro, like evaluation of the player. So it won't be easy in two weeks to get this money or Chelsea will accept a loan with buy option. But I think it's so difficult because they always say they want their money for Jorginho. They don't consider Jorginho a player to be loaned out. So we have mm -hmm. to see what will happen with Atletico Madrid. It's right, they're going to take money from, from Morata, but it will be a loan for Morata, a loan with buy option from Juventus. So it won't be so easy, in my opinion, with Atletico Madrid, also because they are working with Torreira, with, with Arsenal. Uh, also in Italy, we had some contact with Juventus, we had some contact with also with Roma, but no one has arrived to Chelsea to say, OK, we're going to buy Jorginho. So it won't be so easy. I would pay attention also on other players, because as I told you, for Jorginho, is nothing advanced yet. We have to wait to understand what will happen with other clubs. But other players can leave Chelsea for sure. I think for sure one of the left backs, one between Emerson Palmieri and Marcos Alonso is going to leave the club. For sure Inter are going to look at both and they will try for, for one. I think Emerson Palmieri was the first choice for Conte like in June, like in May and June. Now they are going to try also for Marcos Alonso. So we will see what will happen. But they hope to arrive on the last week and to get the player on loan. So that's the mentality of Inter. But also many other clubs that are trying to, to get players on last week's with a, a loan with buy option. So this will be the, the kind of deal also with the, the left back. And the same for AC Milan with Bakayoko, because as I'm saying by weeks, AC Milan want Timu Bakayoko back. The player wants to come back. So when you have the player that say yes, and you know Chelsea have Bakayoko out from their plans, they are going to try for the loan with buy option until the last day for 30 million euros as buy option. So here's another player who's going to leave Chelsea. Zappa Costa is a general player as to yesterday. And we have to pay attention also to the centre-backs because as Lampard said yesterday, okay, we have many centre-backs, we have to understand what we have to do with many players. And about Tomori and Rudiger, we have to pay attention because one between Tomori and Rudiger, I think, is going to leave Chelsea in this in the last two weeks. Well, let's, let's talk quickly about Rudiger because I think that was kind of the the shock option yesterday that he wasn't included in the in the squad. Are you hearing anything more concrete about you know, whether or not he's a serious viable target to leave? Uh, or, and if so, which team or teams would be interested in his services? At the moment, I don't have the name of a, a specific team, but I'm told that his brother, who is working with Rudiger, is looking at the Italian market to find something different. Also, because with Roma, he was so good when he played in Serie A, then I love to Chelsea with, with Conte, so pay attention possible also to Inter. At the moment, I don't have any news about Inter trying to, to sign Rudiger, but we will see because the player wants, obviously, to play. He did a fantastic work also as a director of football for Chelsea this summer because with Werner <laughs> and Harvard, he has been key to, to sign both. But, uh, but yes, we will see what, what will be also the kind of the bids because you think, I think that, the, but it's not just for Chelsea, for many other top clubs, as I said, on the last two weeks, all the clubs that want to sign players will come to offer a loan with buy option. No one yeah. wants to pay on last days of transfer weeks. So we have to we have to understand what kind of bid is not just what club, but also what kind of bid Chelsea will receive because they say, okay, we have paid our players like we did with Avers, with Werner, with Ziyech and many others. We now we want money. We don't want to loan out players. So it will be not so easy in my opinion. It seems to be the recurring theme. Like, but even if we continue to talk about Tomori and Bakayoko, Kappa, even it's like 
it sounds like you're saying we Chelsea need to raise funds for like a Declan Rice, but no one has the money. Everyone's looking for these trade deals with obligations to buy. And obviously it's with the global pandemic that has severely affected this transfer market. I mean, we're talking about transfers September 21st. Normally the Premier League's over a month in at this point that like the window is closed completely. There's still two weeks left. So it's all over the place. So I guess like, is there... And I think that like a Jorginho, as you say, is a very established player. Rudiger, those are established players who would have price tags connected to them. It just I, I now all of a sudden I'm kind of interested to see where Chelsea go in this market to to raise these funds. Cause like even an Emerson Palmieri, like good player, has a lot of value of these things, but it's like I don't you know, loan only covers the wages and maybe you get a little bit of a fee, but it's obviously not a sell on fee. So uh, I think that is kind of changing my mentality a little bit, Fabrizio. But <laughs> one I'm concerned with is is Fakao Tomori. Uh, he played yesterday, but we have heard a lot of rumors that maybe he is looking to leave the club on loaners and different things. Um, that Everton seems to be the most concrete link with him. France, for a little bit, Ren was holding out for him. Um, do I have to worry about Fakao leaving Chelsea? <laughs> yes, I think yes, because he's waiting too. Uh, I spoke also with his agents and they are waiting to understand the position from Chelsea. Between him and Rudiger, one will leave Chelsea. So yes, there is a possibility that it will be for Caio. And we have to understand about Everton because as you say, they are the favorite. Carlo Ancelotti is in love with, with Tomori. So he would love to, to have him at Everton. And he's building the top team in my opinion because I like Everton so much this summer. And they did also a fantastic work at Chelsea. So uh, we have to understand about the, the situation of Tomori on next days. But I think there is a possibility that it's going to be loan love from, from Chelsea this summer but it's not just because you know we have to explicate also to Chelsea fans that it's normal that when you have a, a bid uh, week, uh, weeks like the last ones that where Chelsea signed many top players they have the fantastic window it's normal that when you sign and sign and sign players the other clubs arrive to offer you loans because they know that you need to sell players so I think it's normal it's the other part when you say okay we had a fantastic window then it's difficult to sell players but I think it's a beautiful situation. Every fan would love to be in the Chelsea <laughs> situation this summer because we, all, as yeah. you say, we see many clubs, top clubs, working just for loan for Barcelona, Juventus, Inter. Many clubs working just for loan, loan with buy option, loan with obligation to buy. Chelsea arrive and buy players, and so wow. Yeah, we 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 definitely feel like it's a good time to be a Chelsea supporter. So <laughs> there's a, a lot of positivity here. I think one area that maybe hasn't been as bright for us. Obviously, we're, we're recording this in, anticipate, in anticipation of the Mendy news dropping uh, sometime this week. But Keppa is one that is kind of a curious situation. What do we do with Keppa? Is there any market out there for him right now? Is anybody calling on Chelsea to see if there's an option to swoop in and grab him on loan at this point? Or is there just no conversation about him and kind of the global transfer market? No, oh, in this moment there is nothing, uh, nothing advanced for for Kepa. I think he will fight with with Edouard Mendy. I hope for Chelsea that something will change because I I always was thinking that uh, Kepa is a talented goalkeeper. I was mm, not expecting something by him like he's doing on last weeks or last months. So I think this is not Kepa. He is so concerned. He is not concentrated. He's so young. So it's also normal. But I know for a fan, it's terrible to see a goalkeeper doing something as he did yesterday. So he needs to be back concentrated. I hope and I think that the arrival of Edouard Mendy will be also good for him because he can fight. He can be back concentrated. He can focus on football and say, okay, you have to fight to be the Chelsea goalkeeper. I am not guaranteed I am the Chelsea goalkeeper. And for a young player, this is so good because... You know, uh, it's not so easy to be Chelsea goalkeeper arriving from another country in a top league like Premier League is. So he needed it. He needed it. And I'm happy that Chelsea are going to sign Mendy because also Kepa, in my opinion, would be a better goalkeeper with Mendy arriving to Chelsea. A, a quick follow up to one of your notes earlier in the outgoing section. You talked about Alonso or Emerson leaving the club at the end of this window, um, but that Alonso may be preferred, um, which is an interesting uh, position as Emerson was kind of the, the favorite to leave earlier. Are you, do you have any idea of the horse race right now, which one is, is necessarily in the lead or why? At the moment, I have to say that Chelsea would prefer to sell Emerson Palmieri and to keep Alonso. So this is the idea of Chelsea. 
but you have to, 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 to see and to check what is happening in the international market because in this moment, after Chelsea signing Chilwell, all the clubs understood that there were possibility also to sign a loan. So, for example, if you speak with Antonio Conte side, he would love to have a loan. So, obviously, he likes also Emerson Palmieri, but the first choice will be a loan. So, we have to see because, as I told you, Inter can't pay today 30 million euro to sign Alonso or 40 million euro, all the same for, for Emerson Palmieri, they will go for a loan. So it's also about Chelsea decision, also about players decision, because it's possible that Emerson would accept to be a replacement for Chilwell. Alonso is possible, he wants to play. We have the Euro on, less, on next summer, so also he has to, to get his place for, for Spain. So pay attention to Alonso situation in my opinion, because if it was June, I would say, okay, Emerson Palmieri is leaving Chelsea. Now they are 50-50 because it depends also by the other clubs who want to buy them. And Inter are for sure the favorite to sign one of them. What about Spain? I mean, is there another market or is it very much just Antonio Conte knows what they are, therefore <laughs> he's happy to go after them? I think Inter, Inter are on top on the race for, for a loan. So yes, more than Spain market because in this moment, Chelsea have not received any bid for a loan so from, from Spain. There was something with Atletico Madrid, but Atletico Madrid now they have a Renan Lodi who is having good time. So at the moment, they are not going for him. We have to see if they decide to go for a left back, he can be an option. But in this moment, there is nothing advanced. About Inter, they need a left back because they signed Kolarov from Roma, but he's playing like a centre-back this season, not as a left back. So I think they are going also for him. It will depend also by Perisic, you know, because Perisic is back and Inter from Bayern Munich. So they are considering if keeping Perisic as, as left, uh, left back, uh, playing to, with three defense with Antonio Conte, or to go for Marcos Alonso. But some agent is telling me, pay attention because Marcos Alonso can be the last target for Inter on next week. So pay attention to Inter. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> Um, so I'm also, what about Olivier Giroud We're talking about Inter? He was very close to go last January. Sounds like he's, we think he's staying, but I think the door has kind of been open that if he wants to go, he's been allowed to. Is that what you're hearing? You were speaking about, sorry? Olivier Giroud? Oh, yes, because he had told with Inter, he was so close to join Inter. Mm-hmm. He's not just missing for medical sense, sign a contract, and has in transfer market can happen. Immediately, the deal collapsed because Inter decided to do something different because of the age of the player. So it was really done. Eh? Then Antonio Conte was not so happy because he wanted Olivier Giroud to, to Inter, but something had changed. Now, I think this summer, he's not going to move. The only option that Giroud was going to consider was Juventus. Because he said, okay, if Juventus will call me to be their backup striker, I'm going to join Juventus for 5 million euros. So he was ready also talking with Chelsea to leave the club if Juventus would have made a bid. But at the moment, there is nothing advanced. So just if Morata deal will collapse, it's possible because everything can happen in transfer market. But if some other deal will collapse, it's possible that Giroud can join Juventus. But he's not, it's on the only club. Inter are not going for him. Same for Roma. In this moment, we have rumors, links here in Italy, but Giroud won't leave Chelsea to join Roma in this moment. So we have to see what will happen, but at the moment, Giroud is staying at Chelsea. Yes. So, so uh, oh, go, go ahead. No, 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 go for it, Dan. So the the only other thing that you know, kind of maybe name that started to populate just recently is Callum Hudson Odoi. He's been in the conversation again. Uh, Lampard's been talking about kind of what his commitment needs to look like. Obviously, previously been linked very heavily with Bayern Munich before he signed a long term you know deal here. Is there a possibility that he leaves this window? Is the kind of the the link to Bayern Munich back on? Or is it possible that, you know, uh, there's maybe other clubs that are looking at him as an option? I think possibility, we have the possibility because we are speaking about a good young player, good talent, in my opinion. I like him. And he wants to play. It's normal. So when you see Chelsea board signing Ziyech, signing Havertz, signing many players, offensive players, you think, okay, it's possible I have to go out and to play because I need it. At the moment, Chelsea have not received any bid for Callum. So they are just waiting by Bayern. As you say, they are they have always been interested in Callum and But in this moment, they signed Sané. They have many top players on this position. So it won't be so easy. But the possibility, I would say yes, because Chelsea have many offensive players. So they need to take some decision. And if a bid will arrive, I don't know if loan, if permanent deal, they will consider it because Callum wants to play and they think it's right because young players have to play.